So starting with the perspective view, okay, I can spin it around and I'm going to uh, double click out and do the resizing of the detail first. Okay, so I'll kind of drag that over and I'll double click. There we go. Okay, so a couple quick things to do with, uh, with this uh, detail. I'm going to assign the rendered display mode. Okay, so we're going to quickly kind of get this one detail looking, uh, looking good. Uh, the uh, dimension layer is also going to be turned off in the uh, perspective detail. And I'll find a size that I like. Uh, one of the uh, options that we have to assign to any viewport, I'm going to pick here on viewport uh, properties, is an option now called two-point perspective. So instead of being a three-point vanishing point, we're going to have a two-point perspective here to make it look more like you would see from the human eye. Okay, so there we have uh, one detail set. Now one thing about the perspective detail and why I think it's good to uh, look at first is that to this detail we don't assign a scale because it's perspective. There isn't an option to assign a scale. You here in properties, when I pick on the detail and I go to properties, if you don't have it open, you can open it from up here. So the property panel I have docked on the side of the screen. There is a page called the detail page and it's only visible when you have a detail selected over here. Now, what I see about this detail page is it does offer me a locked option, so I can lock it and I won't be able to change the scale, but this whole area here is grayed out. Okay, so this scale applies to a parallel detail. We'll see how that works here in a moment.